morning, guys. Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. I'm going to see Harry Styles in the flesh. I am so excited. It's going to be fantastic. I've been waiting so long for this and I am so grateful that I was able to get tickets because it was so hectic and um, he released a new Connecticut date um, several months ago and I was able to get onto pre-sale and actually secure tickets. We got the bag. It was really stressful um, buying them though. I can show you a clip of me like you would put tickets in your cart and then they would disappear and like I just hate Ticketmaster for that reason. I've had that experience several times so Ticketmaster just not my thing but I was able to get tickets and I'm so excited. Um, I've been planning my outfit for a very long time and I'm really really proud of it so I can't wait for you guys to see and I'm just gonna bring you guys along. Um, we're gonna drive down to Connecticut leaving in a few hours. I'm gonna get ready first, of course. We are going down there for the concert and driving back tonight slash early tomorrow morning um, after the concert's over. And so it's gonna be a long night, but we're gonna drive down there, get dinner, just hang out, buy some merch, and then go into the venue and watch the show. And I'm just very, very excited. So pretty soon I'm gonna start getting ready. Okay, it's time to start getting ready and you know I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous to be honest. I want everything to be perfect because I've been planning this so long. I already um, tested the hair and makeup but I wasn't 100% in love with the hair so we'll see if I can make it a little better today. Um, let's hope. So first I'm gonna straighten it and then if I don't like how it looks straightened then I'll gel it back and then like straighten up the ends like curl them outwards so that's what I did last time in a different order because I didn't like just the gel back look so I guess I'm gonna straighten my hair and we'll see how that looks so here's my hair so far it is straightened and not not the best job but I'm gonna have my mom help me just fix it and make sure I got every piece but I'm still trying to decide if I like my hair down better than I like it slicked back um, I don't know, so I think I'm gonna try on the outfit, or at least the top half, and see what looks best. So I decided to slick it back, um, it's in bobby pins right now to, like, solidify. I'm gonna need to straighten it a little more after, you can see it kind of unstraightened. But I'm starting to get a little strapped on time because we want to leave and have, like, a lot of time to eat dinner or whatever, so I'm gonna get started on the makeup and hopefully it turns out like it did when I practiced. Here is the makeup right now. It is not my favorite thing, but actually I think it looks better on camera in the mirror, so maybe it's just me not being able to look at it right, but yeah, here it is. We have to go soon. Um, I just need to finish my hair and put on the outfit and we'll be out, so yeah. Here's the full outfit. I. I really like it. Um, I'll show you a actual full shot in a minute, but yeah, we're gonna leave now because it's already a little late. So we're stopping at a pizza place to pick up our calzones. You can see the sunset back here, but we are seven minutes away and it is 6 p.m. So it's two hours until the concert and I'm so excited. So once we get there, um, I'm going to take some more pictures of my outfit. We kind of probably should have taken better ones back at home while it's still light out. But hopefully there's light in there because then we can do that. And I just want to give you like a full video of my outfit because I spent a lot of time on it. So. See you guys there. So we made it to Mohegan Sun and we're just heading over to the arena right now. We parked, got some Instagram pictures, and we're heading over.
Our job is to entertain you. I promise you, we will do our absolute very best. But you also have a job. Your job for the next 90 minutes is to have as much fun as you possibly can. If you want to sing, if you want to dance, please feel free to do whatever it is you want to do in this room tonight. Please feel free to be here in this room. Always want to be in this room tonight. And I challenge you. I challenge you to have as much fun as I can. Some of the time I'll be facing you, you'll be looking at my face. Number two, some of the time I'll be facing away from you, you'll be looking at my ass. If you, if you have a preference, please feel free to make it known. It's a long show.
I just got home from the Harry Styles concert. Um, here's a little fit check, but I will be posting more about it tomorrow. It is very late though, so I'm going to go to bed. Well, take this get up off and then go to bed, but it was just an amazing night and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So there will be a vlog and I will like explain my outfit and everything. But yeah, I will see you guys later today. So it's the next morning and I just want to give you guys a recap of the concert and just um, kind of give my review. It was an absolutely amazing concert. It was definitely my favorite concert that I've ever been to. It was just so like upbeat and it wasn't super like choreographed, you know? Like Harry went around and he was just like interacting with fans. It seemed super genuine, which I really appreciated. And I don't know, it was just a really, really fun experience. So I'm super glad that I had the opportunity to be able to go. Um, we got there at about six, so like two hours before the concert started. And we had picked up calzones on the way. Um, so we ate those. Well, I had just a little bit of those. And then we um, went into the concert. Like the, So Mohegan Sun is interesting in that it has a hotel a casino, a whole like mall area, and the uh, like arena itself. So we were kind of walking around the like mall area and around the perimeter of the casino um, during that time. And I got so many compliments on um, our sweaters, which I will show you in a minute. But I really, really appreciated people's kindness about um, our outfits. So then we went in and it was weird. All the water fountains were shut off, so we were super thirsty and we um like went through the actual gates to get into the arena and there were like drink stands and food stands in there. So we had to buy water, but bottled water, they take the caps off for you because apparently like Harry had requested to not have caps because people throw them, which is like really annoying. But us being in the very, like, second to last row, still had to have our open water bottles the entire time. So I would recommend bringing an empty water bottle if you are going to a concert because you can't bring water in yourself, but you also can't have a cap. So either bring your own cap, I guess, or bring your own water bottle um, so that you don't have to have like phone in one hand, water in the other, and try not to slosh everywhere. So that was definitely something that I learned that I will try to keep in mind if I go to another one of his concerts again, which I would love to. But yeah, it was so great. Um, I was a little disappointed because he like teased going into Two Ghosts. He like started it and then he just went into Falling, I think it was. So that was a little disappointing for me. But other than that, like, everything was amazing. I love the song choice. Um, I didn't feel like there was anything missing, and I loved that Kiwi was the last song. That was, like, perfect. I hadn't looked at the set list before because I didn't want to completely ruin it for myself. So it was it was just so great. So I want to show you guys my outfit and kind of explain it for you. Well, first you can see that my hair is, like, slicked back because we got home at 1 a.m. and I didn't really have a chance to take a shower. I still haven't. It is like noon but that's okay I'll do it later I do also have the remnants of the makeup so I had quite a crazy makeup look but it was it was great I loved it it matched my outfit pretty well so let's move on to the outfit first I had these white they're like kind of jeans but I love the buttons on them um because they're like reminiscent of the fine line album cover outfit so I got them from Zara and yeah, they're just like kind of wide, very, very high-waisted. I kind of feel like when I put them on, I could not bend down and touch my feet. I could not like put on my shoes or anything, so that was a little tough. But it made me feel like that uh, carpool karaoke video with James Corden <laughs> where Harry's pants just like keep getting higher-waisted. That's what I felt like wearing these. So, next piece of my outfit was this it is originally from express but i thrifted it while we were in michigan it's got like a pretty deep neckline but i had it underneath um, my sweater so i really just liked the pointy collar ends and i'd originally wanted a silky shirt anyway i was going for white but i ended up switching 
I was going to do pink bottoms and a white top, but I ended up switching them, so then it ended up looking like the Fine Line album cover, which I love. So here's this top. Um, I will try to wear this again. I really want to, but again, I don't, I'm not really going to have that many opportunities to wear this stuff. The next thing is the sweater vest that I knit. So it is a Fine Line album cover, and everybody loved this. Um, I'm really glad that I made it. And then on the back, it just says Harry Styles. So my mom had one that I made for her that says Love on Tour on the front and then Harry Styles on the back. Um, also, I wore fake Doc Martens from Marshalls. I believe it was Marshalls. Um, they were only 30 bucks and they were super comfortable. We were standing the entire concert and my feet didn't end up hurting. We ended up like booking it out of the concert. Um, right as Kiwi ended, right when Harry left, we just like booked it and we ended up being in the first elevator going up to the parking garage and one of the first cars driving away. So that was great because we didn't want to be like trapped in there for hours trying to get out of the parking garage. Um, I guess I should show you what merch I got too. So I got the Love on Tour shirt. Yes, this was 45 bucks. Um, but we're supporting Harry, I guess. And on the back, it just has all of the dates on it. I will go get my poster to show you too. Okay, so I have my poster here. This was 20 bucks, and I have to say it was definitely worth it. I don't know if the shirt was worth 45 bucks, but whatever. I had to have it. Um, but this is such good quality. Like, it is so thick. I don't know if you can see that, but it's how thick posters should be. Like, I have these posters up on my wall here. They were like... 10 bucks each but they're so thin but this I feel like would actually stay up because my wall is angled and they usually just sag so I can't wait to put this up I don't want to wreck it though so I'm going to try to do something like with command strips or something but I'm sure you guys will see that on my channel later but yeah I had such a great time at the concert I just want to say again how grateful I am that I got the opportunity to go so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Um, let me know if you guys got to go to a Love on Tour concert or if you're going to go to one. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts where I listed um, my sweater vest if you want to buy one. Um, and check out my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye! Bye.